the most aggravating itch in the most sensitive spot at the most inopportune time? Well, do you ever stop to wonder why we itch? I mean, aside from embarrassing us in public, does it serve any purpose? Well, as it turns out, it does. But before we get to that, we need to cover a bit of background. Like, what is an itch? Well, an itch is a sensation produced when certain nerves in the body are stimulated. You see, the surface of our body is covered with millions of nerve endings. These nerve endings take in sensory information about the world around us and carry it back to the brain. But what does that have to do with itching? Well, think of the nervous system as a large communications network inside your body. Now, at the surface of the skin, you've got those millions of nerve endings I was talking about before. These nerve endings register different sensations. For example, this one registers touch, and this one heat, and this one cold. But the receptor we're interested in is this one here. It's the pain receptor. Ow! What the? Sheesh! Now, if you were to take a closer look at the pain receptor, you'd notice it's actually made up of three different nerve fibers. Here's how they work. Forceful stimulation, like when a sharp point penetrates the skin, activates the first two nerve fibers, which in turn send a very strong pain message to the brain. Mild stimulation, on the other hand, like that caused by a minor pinprick, activates the third nerve fiber, which registers only mild irritation. Now, it's believed that impulses from this third nerve fiber and impulses from the... Ow! Jeez! ...touch receptor combine to produce the itch sensation. So an itch is a very subtle form of pain. But why itch? What purpose does it serve? Well, very much the same purpose that pain does. You see, as uncomfortable as it can be, pain is actually a vital warning that tells you something's wrong with your body. Like perhaps your hand is a little too close to a fire. Or you have a wound that needs attention before it becomes infected. Itching serves the same purpose. It warns the body that some kind of noxious substance or pest has intruded onto or into the skin. For example, ticks and lice will trigger nerve endings as they try to burrow into your skin. A fungus will cause an itch response as it begins to take root. A mosquito will leave behind some of its saliva after drawing blood. The saliva causes your body to release a substance called histamine. Histamine binds itself to nerve endings, causing itching and swelling. So itching is a type of early warning system, kind of like the silent alarm on a house. When an intruder tries to break in, it triggers the sensitive wiring, which sets off the alarm. Code 6, 105 North There he is! I got him! I got him! I got him! I got him! You're not going anywhere! You're not going anywhere! Coming your way! Coming your way! Coming your way! Of course, when we itch, we don't call the police. We scratch. Scratching actually serves two purposes. First, it dislodges any pests that may be trying to break through the skin. Second, it actually provides temporary relief from the itch. You see, forceful scratching will produce pain. The pain overrides the itch. But too much scratching will do more harm than good. You may break the skin and cause an infection. A particularly persistent itch may require more effective methods, like medication. The active ingredient in most itch medications is a local anesthetic. The anesthetic molecule plugs nerve endings, preventing the transmission of impulses, essentially blocking out the itch sensation. But the relief from medication is only temporary. I mean, the anesthetic eventually wears off. We might as well get used to the fact that we're always going to have some itch we need to scratch. 
I just wish it wouldn't happen in public. There he is. That's the guy. Well, you don't understand, officer. See, I had this itch that I just had to scratch. I mean, it was nothing else. You know, that mm -hmm. kind of itch. I just had to scratch it. And I, I don't know what happened. Things got blown out of proportion.